and thank you for trusting me to read for you. Today I'm going to be reading the reading number 47, New Relationship Insight. So we have the Tarot of Sexual Magic, the Oracles of Romantic Relationship, and the Oracles of Yes or No Relationship Edition. So I'm going to pull these five cards that are part of the reading, and then we'll do some bonus cards at the end, because all of my readings come with bonus cards. So we're going to do question number one. How can I approach this new relationship? Question number two, what kind of energy was the energy that you ended your last relationship on? Number three is a yes or no question, which is should you tell them how you feel? Should you tr tell them how you feel? And then the last two cards are just labeled as tarot insight, and they're just going to give uh, more insight into the situation from a tarot aspect. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Card number one, how can you approach this new relationship? This is showing as the energy of the Five of Cups. So the Five of Cups is about this energy of regret. I feel that what a really good thing for you is to look at this relationship as brand new. So don't go really into it with ideas of like, oh, well, I'm going to do this different and I'm going to do this different. Look at this as a whole new experience that you've never had before because you have not experienced what life would be like with this specific person. So if you go in with a really open mind, it's going to be really beneficial to you because of the fact that you're going to be able to see things that you've never seen before. So if you go in and you start looking for the same experiences so that you can do them differently, then you're going to have the same experiences. But if you go in and you start saying, this is going to be so different, everything is going to be so different, I'm, I'm just going to have a whole new experience that I've ever had before. Like you can kind of build that experience for yourself mentally before you even start experiencing it physically. <clears throat> Card number two... What energy did your last relationship end on? This is showing as a romance. So romance is exciting when you discover the secret things that make your relationship spark. So I really do feel that you are a romantic at heart. Like you have this I, way of looking at life where it's like, oh, how is everyone compatible? How can things work out? You have like matchmaker energy. And because of this type of energy, Whenever you meet someone, you're looking at how you can be compatible. And sometimes the way that we can be compatible is by being amazing friends and have that grow to the next thing. And it puts a lot less pressure on the connection and it grows more authentically if you're able to say, hey, I would be this person's friend because I, I just really care about this person. So allowing yourself to experience the connection with this person in a way where there is no agenda is going to be the most exciting and the most beneficial to you and the relationship. So card number three, should you tell them how you feel? This is showing as yes, but it also says the advice of trust your gut. So I do feel that there's a time and a place for everything. There's going to be a time when this person is more open to receiving something or feeling vulnerable. And that's the type of time that you're going to want to wait for. So I don't feel that it's just going to be the next time you see that person, you should just like blur everything out. I do feel though that it would be good for you to talk about things in small doses, you know, or small conversations where it's like, so... You know, in the interest of being authentic and open and blunt, you know, what are you looking for? What does this look like to you? If that's what your gut is telling you that you should do at that time. So then a little bit of tarot insight. This is showing as the two of wands upright. The two of wands upright is about making a choice. And I do feel that this relationship that you're looking at <clears throat> is going to be different than any relationship you've been in. 
but I do feel that the only way it will be different than any relationship you've been in is if you take a different path than you've ever taken, if you make different choices. So if you're always the one who contacts the other person first in this relationship, try waiting for the other person. If you're the person who makes all the dates, try and wait for them. If you never make any dates, you know, just ask yourself, what is my normal experience with a new relationship and what kind of little things could I do differently this time and see what kind of different experience I have. Look at it as an adventure. So then the next card is the <clears throat> Page of Swords. I think that picture is so interesting. So the energy of the Page of Swords is really about being curious. It's about a curiosity. I mean, even this picture, right? He's curious. <laughs> so I really feel that going into this and being curious is going to be good for you. And that's kind of what I was talking about with the card right before, where it's like, if I do something different, what kind of outcome will I get? If I communicate differently, will they communicate? Like, look at it from an aspect of experience and opening yourself up to something new rather than saying, well, I've tried this every time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've tried this every time and it's not worked, but maybe this time it will work rather than saying, maybe the thing I've been doing every time needs to switch rather than the other person. Maybe it's time for me to alternate some of the things. It could even be that you change the idea of like, you set more clear boundaries or you talk about your feelings a little bit more or perhaps you even go to counseling or going to counseling simultaneously and working with a therapist to kind of have like a, a guide that helps you. But I feel that this is going to be a really good experience for you to try something just really different and see what kind of result you get. <clears throat> So then let's go ahead and we will pull the bonus card. So these are three romantic energy cards. Now what we can do with these is like meditate or journal or you could um, pray over them. Whatever kind of modality you use to shift energy in your own life. So these cards are going to be what you need, what you want, and what you should journal about. What you need romantically is showing as eye contact. I feel that you need somebody who wants to do things with you, somebody who wants to show up, somebody who wants to go on dates. And I feel that being upfront right at the beginning and just being like, hey, you know, this is something that is really important to me. It's something that's vital. And if you're not, if you are only wanting to like hook up or whatever, I'm looking for somebody who wants to go on actual dates. You can even put that in the profile and just weed people out that way. <laughs> so then the next card, this is showing as depression. I feel that the reason that this is showing up is because of the fact that you've been kind of pushing it to the side. It's not something that you have been wanting to deal with. And so it's creeping into different aspects of your life, including your love life. Um, this is something that if it's clinical needs to be diagnosed. So you would want to talk to a professional. Um, in this case though, we can have some <clears throat> depression that we flow in and out of, especially when relationships are having, you're having a hard time navigating a relationship, especially when it's new and you have like an anticipation of what it would be like. And then if it's not, it can kind of, cause you to fall into that energy. and But that is a place where I feel the reason it's coming up in this position is because it's something that you can heal from and it's time to do that now. And I feel that's why the situation is bringing it up to you. So in our lives, sometimes when we have something that we experienced um, when we were younger or in and before in our life, by the time that we get to the age where we're dating people, we are experiencing a lot similar, a lot of similar experiences to that initial experience. So you have the opportunity now to do something different, which is you have a lot more power in it. Also, a lot of times, if there's something that happened that was really detrimental or traumatic, a lot of times because we weren't able to cry or process or have the grief during that time frame, 
we carry that on, but we only need to go through it and experience it enough times to where it loses its power. It doesn't feel as strong anymore because you allowed yourself to say, I do feel bad. I do feel sad. I do feel depressed. I do feel rejected. I do feel lonely. I do feel this. Like sometimes the reason that persists in our, our life is because we haven't acknowledged it. So think of it as like a small child that's saying, hey, hey, I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad. If you've spent any time with children, you know, until you acknowledge that child and say, oh, I'm so sorry you're feeling sad. Let's fix whatever we need to fix to make you no longer feel sad. That child is going to stay in that spot. So I feel that what's happening when the way that this depression is kind of linking into your love life is some of those more traumatic things that you had happen or disappointing things. I feel that what kind of is like held on in your heart is that there were times that there were people you were hanging out with and they had careless words. They didn't think about how it would affect you. And I think that some of those things that are being carried around, if there's any match up for what you're currently doing to what used to happen, it can really throw you back into the energy of this past experience. And then you're no longer living in your current experience. So working with a therapist or counselor to kind of clear up some of this um, energy back here, which a lot of people feel like, oh, well, all I want to do is get upset or feel sad or cry about that. So if I keep thinking about that, that will continue to happen. But what's actually happening when you're processing is you're addressing the issue. You're giving it your attention. So if you're if you're really upset about it and you're holding on to it and you're not giving it the attention of, oh, this is why it is. That was feeling, uh, get, something I did in therapy the other day was allowing myself to feel sorry for myself and saying, you know, I'm really sorry that that happened. It shouldn't have happened that way. I'm really sorry that the people who shouldn't have been there for you weren't there for you. And it changed the way I felt about the situation because I just gave myself that acknowledgement of, yeah, that never should have happened and it was wrong. So and when you're addressing some of this emotion here, I feel that the piece that is going to help you is, yeah, some of those relationships I was in, I was not respected by those people. Some of the relationships that I was in, I should have spoken up or, you know, just acknowledge the piece of it. Because a lot of times that persistent um, <clears throat> feeling of that trauma keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back is because we it's knocking on the door saying you need to acknowledge me. And then when we don't, it just comes back later. But when you open the door and you're like, hello, depression, I know why you're here. You know that song? Hello, darkness, my old friend. That emotion will continue. That experience will continue to come back and knock on your door until you open it up and say, yeah, you're right. This is what it is. And then there's no reason for that knock on the door anymore. It changes a lot of things. There's no reason for that past trauma to communicate with you anymore because you've finished the communication up until that point that trauma would knock on your door and you'd be like no 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 I like have this picture of you putting your fingers in your ears and saying no 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 go away go away go away go away you are too scary you're too big but you're thinking from the aspect of opening that door when you were in that initial pain you're in a different spot now plus if you open that door with a therapist or counselor it's even less scary but this is why we, why you're ending up in that same energy each time. It's because you, you need this energy to help you make a change. But right now, because you're not addressing it, it's not helping you in the way that it can. So then the last one, which is journal about, is universal love. So the universal love, it, the universe is sending you love that will move you forward into loving relationships. Because once this is healed then you have this whole new experience because right now, each new relationship that you're getting in, you're basically matching them up to this energy. And you're saying, okay, how do, okay, are you going to get me to the point where I feel depressed or I feel sad and this is where we're going to be? So start jour journaling about that universal love and how that can help you with some of that healing because I really feel that this is what this relationship is here for you to do. 
All right, well, thank you for trusting me to read for you, and I look forward to reading for you again.